Tower of Rocks! The one sent by God for the good of us. Oh, you are lucky to be here, warrior. You'll see a sight rarely seen by any mortals. Have I walked into another realm? Ota hits rocks as far as the eye can see! The name's Otto Sluggerson. I usually try to dodge Danes like yourself, but you seem friendly. I saw an angel swallow the last rock you hit. I swear I did, Ota. Mmm. Nothing more sweet than the crack of a good, clean rock hit. Like a warrior's axe cutting through a shield wall. I would like to see this rock hit you speak of. All right. Here's the taste of my fire. Get ready, kids. I'm impressed, Otis Lagerson. If you want, some try and do the same with their bow. But my best time is hard to beat. I would not want these kids to lose a hero by besting you. I like this, Viking. Kids gather around. Are you sure you want to challenge me? Fine, Oda. I will show these children what a true legend is. Oda, will you sign this stone I kept? Sure thing, kid. Ooh, you missed. Well, stop, man. Well, I'll be. You knocked the straw right out of that dummy's belly. Nice one. Well, well, twang, twang, twang. You've got some firepower in you. The Danes got a fine shot. Two legends here together. Tell the poets. Thank you, Otis Luggerson. This game is joyful. If you add a cup of mead and some puffed oats, it could be a fine manner of passing time. You're right, Eivor of Raven Clan. Hey, come on back if you ever want to dance again. It is just how you imagined it. Hello, stranger. What is this place? Do you like it? My wife and I have constructed it from ancient stones. It is a house of dreams and memories, fashioned from gossamer and summer breezes. It is beautiful. Paula and I have traveled near and far. Oh, the things we've seen and done. When I say far, I mean to distant lands beyond your imagination. Each brick of this castle is a memory from our adventures. You have gathered wisdom from your travels. I have, and it is this. It is all very well to prepare for tomorrow. But do not forget today. Today, this hour, this moment is a precious gift. Paula and I will look out from our window over the green of England and recall the hours of our travels. From our window, we can relive our adventures. There she is now! I must go to her. I thank you for your words, friend. Died a terrible death, killed by wolves or something. Nobody read the last rites. I'm stuck in purgatory. Have a heart, Wayfarer. Give a little something to help free me. Give something? A little offering to help a fellow out on my journey to the land of the dead. I'm not fooled by trickery. Do not pester dead people. Fifty pieces of silver will be enough to bring me peace. 
I will find you and kill you. Twelve pieces of silver. You'll soon be dead enough. A head of cabbage? I don't have all day, Wayfarer. You should know, the dead do not have an abundance of patience. My soul won't rest until you open your purse and put some fucking silver on the ground. Wayfarer, where are you going? Get back here! Voice of the dead. You appear much livelier than I expected. I tried to. This belongs to the living. That's mine! Why is your pardon for that? Over here! Now you're truly dead. Speak all you want. Lose something? Polish the family brooch up for my niece, put it down for two seconds, and it's gone. One of the sheep must have swallowed it. That will be one hungry sheep. It was my grandmother's given her by a very wealthy, uh, admirer. How will I get it back without hurting any of my lovely sheep? My brooch! My brooch! Dear heaven, I'll never get it back. I've had no luck getting your brooch. A luck a day. One of you swallowed it. Who was it? <laughs> ah, yes. Feed the sheep and see what. <laughs> see what's there. By the gods. How do I find myself doing this? Ugh, nothing. I must continue my search. I've had no luck getting your brooch. If to have a man from the air, it before the swath. Ah, a brooch. Not in very fine condition. Here's your brooch. Woo! That smell would knock over a horse. Just take it. It'll need a wash-in, but my niece will be so grateful. Many thanks, stranger. I will not help in this way again. Here, I believe, is where the Nephilim place sacred stones to guard the Chattel of God from other giants. Those present were scared by demons, and God defended the pious, sending the giants away. Only these holy reverberations remain. The work of good souls who have the earth in their heart will forever be tied to our ancestors and our Lord via this gateway.
There is a force here. Invisible. Hey now, hey. How curious. Amid bad men, friendship burns hotter than fire for five days full, and tumbles to ash on the sixth, when the fire has burned out. Father, why do men yell at one another when they have drunk too much meat? Hmm. Meat. Is a delicious poison that gives men courage and robs them of kindness. But yelling is not always a wrong. Have you never wanted to lose your tongue and scream at someone? Throw hookah fire and word spears at those who anger you? Hmm, maybe? Why do you ask? Sigurd told me the story of Loki and his anger at the gods. Why was he angry? Because he was vain. When the gods heaped pretty praise on the serving men of Agil, Loki could not contain himself. His pride was heavier than his heart. He lived for trickery and glory hounding. He was jealous. Loki would rather make enemies of friends than hear a good word about anyone but himself. Never be as Loki was. Something wrong. I'm blind, you idiot. I caution you not to insult me, stranger. All right, you're the victim. My life is shit. I'll never find my way to Clee Hill Spring. Why do you seek that spring? Do you know nothing? The enchanted waters heal people. You just have to show up. But I'll never make it. Unless... Unless you lead me there. Oh, dear Lord, yes. Walk loudly, friend. I'll follow wherever you go. Lead me to Clee Hill Spring. My sight will return. I'll see birds and trees, flowers and clouds. War and squalor as well. for pissing on my dreams. Do me a kindness, would you? Shove something in your gruel hole. We 
We're here. Clee Hill Spring. What? You expect gratitude? I have stumbled after you over rocks and troughs. Did you slow down? No. I have done what I can. Why do you cry out so much? Oh, sorry, friend. I questioned the Lord in a moment of weakness. I crawled this far, but it seems I will never get to Clee Hill. Why go there? Long ago, St. Milberger's prayers brought forth a miraculous spring bursting forth from the top of that hill. A simple visit cures all ailments. In fact, the spring is the source of this small fall of water right here. What? Are you going to take me to Clee Hill Spring? Oh, thank you, stranger! It is a joyous day! <laughs> Who are you, stranger? Someone doing penance? A Samaritan? An angel sent from on high? I am Norse. Oh. that man what uh, who said that I'm right here before you do you mock me I'm blind ah uh, sincere apologies I did not realize I meet nothing but village idiots why do you speak from the ground stand up and greet me proper alas my legs are afflicted I cannot stand what good are you a heap on the ground I can see that I have done little good. I'll leave you two here to argue. Good riddance, too! It's obvious this piddling stream is useless. I'm stuck, blind as a dead dog, with no one to guide me on my way. I have no one to help me get around. Whoa, oh, whoa. Sometimes I almost lose faith. Wait. What? I need someone to lead, and you can see. And I need someone to carry me. Together, we are as one full man. Oh, heaven sent joy! Oh, all because of this Dane. Thank you, stranger. The not near work a tangled weave. All right, just a little break. What did you say to me? No one has ever dared to come all the way up before. What happens now? We fight. See that you don't.
At it again? I thought I shut you up last time. <sighs> you again? Quit stalling. Let's take him! Anymore. I won't bother anybody any longer. <sighs> Quite accept yourselves. This madman will not stop. You little shit. How many times must I beat you to mush? Oh, just you try. A fighter. <sighs> Never forget that. I'm tired of defeating you. Oh, it's no pleasure being defeated. The hill is yours. You're the true champion. side. Who's this witch that locked you in? A horrible old hag who wants to make me into rabbit stew. Thanks for helping me get out of here. You naughty boy. Just look at this mess. The house has been abandoned. Who is this? I fooled him. I told him you were a witch and were going to eat me for supper. Well, that's a fine how do you do. It will take me weeks to put this place in order. <laughs> we had a grand time. I am no witch. I am the kindest, sweetest mum to ever lock a lad in a house. How else teach you not to pick your nose? Thanks, stranger. <laughs> <laughs> 